Hey guys, what's up? Jacob from Snowball Apps here. And um today I'm gonna show you guys how to like do auto rotation on your app. So we'll go into we'll do an iPhone app. Just to uh because iP iPad apps already have the auto rotation on them. And we'll just call those. Call whatever you want or app to I put it on whatever app you want, it doesn't really matter. Now, I'm not going to have source code for this app in the description, most likely, because this is going to be a really, really easy tutorial. Now, if we do auto rotation, or if we go to our classes and resources, the important folders, we go to the diam, and we go down here and look for auto rotation. Somewhere around here. Alright, so yes, uncomment this right here. And if you see when you see all of this right here, you're gonna want to just put in yes, and then build and go, and it should work. Yep. Non-valid function. Here, one second. Okay, guys. So here's what I did wrong. Um. This. Oops. Let's undo that and keep undoing. And just erase this part inside the brackets. We return there and put in yes and then go and go. And you get nowhere. So now you guys want to go into the XIB. That's pretty much all you have to do in the coding part of it, but there's a little bit more you have to do in the XIB file. Now, so let's go into, we'll add a couple stuff, we'll add a navigation bar, and we'll add, oops, a label, Now, if we just save this and build it, build and go, should build and go. Let's wait a second for it to go. And why well, didn't it up right? Um, just make sure we save this. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, so see, now you have that, and when you go to hardware and rotate right, the the auto rotate is not in the center anymore. So you're gonna want it in the center, most likely. And if you have a web view, it's gonna get off. And sometimes the bars up top, if you don't, maybe if you don't have a navigation, if you have a uh, if you have a whatever they're called, if you use the toolbars, those will get off. So you're going to want to go into here and the third tab inside the interface builder. And you're going to want to uncheck any, everything if you want it to be in the center. If you want to stretch, stretch out full size, you're going to select everything, including those little cross things. And then just unselect everything. And it'll all be in the center. And for the bar here, if you add in a toolbar, I'll just add in down here at the bottom. It's going to be at the bottom here. So you want to put it at the top. If you don't want the bar at the top, you want the bar at the bottom. You just have to look in this picture and it basically shows you where it's going to be. So we'll just delete that. And we'll. And that's thank you and click the simulator and build and run. And you see it says auto rotate and now if we rotate to the right, it stays centered like that. And this will work with everything. And you guys see how it's not like centered in between these two, but it's centered in between the middle of the whole entire iPhone. So that's just how to make it so it doesn't rotate weird like that. And you can even put it up 
upside down if you want. So, um, now if you make an iPad app, let me just show you guys this real quick. We'll add a new file, and we'll just make it an iPad file. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. And you guys go into the .m. It's going to have auto-rotate already on. So you just got to go into the XIB, and once you get to the XIB, you just have to do all that stuff. So say you want a bar, or navigation bar, and you want to make sure it's at the top. Or if you want it at the bottom, you can put it at the bottom too, it doesn't really matter. It just depends on where you want it. And yeah, if you unselect both of these, it stays in the middle. So, you know, you don't like complete customization with this, but I believe if you select all of them, it'll stay where it, no, it doesn't stay where it's put. I'll have to put that right there. It's going to stretch it full size, though. I don't know. So, you guys can fool around it and get stuff you want, and I guess we'll just save it. Um, doesn't really matter. We're not going to use it right now, but. So, yeah, um, there's not going to be a source code because all you have to do is do return yes. And that's pretty simple. And then the auto and then the other auto rotate stuff is also very, very, very simple. So you shouldn't really need any help with this. If you do, um, just email me send me a message on YouTube, comment on this video on YouTube. If you're on my website, just go to the, click on the video and it will bring you to YouTube. And you can just comment on the video there. So yeah guys, um thanks for watching. Please check out my website, snowballapps.wagsy.com and break our thumbs up, you know. Comment and subscribe. Bye.